I thought that I was safe. There's another skill I need to remove. Hey guys, it's Gold here coming out with another video. In this video, I'll be building my own home server and failing repeatedly. I'm trying to go for a more like storytelling type of video where I do voiceovers over certain sections. There's a lot of dumb things I did in this video, including buying the wrong GPU. So I had to actually go and buy another GPU that fits into the case. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. There's, I'm gonna try my best to get these like, I think I have like five hours of, I think I have more than that video that I need to compress down into like 10 or 15 minutes. So I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna skip a lot of parts of the video. If I have those parts in the video, the video is gonna be like 30 minutes long. So I'm trying my best to shorten it down. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and peace out. What do we do first? I think we need to get the power supply in first because the motherboard goes on top so it just makes sense to essentially trickle our way up the case. And I also, I don't even know if I'm removing the right screws. I actually am not like reading any documentation on this or um, or watching any videos, I'm mean, just free roam basically. So, which, uh, whatever happens, happens. Oh, that's my screen. Okay, so this comes out. Ooh. And there's the case fan. Okay, I have figured that out. So, this is the power supply mountain bracket. The power supply gets mounted through these holes here. So you screw power supply in onto this plate and essentially you just slide this in to my understanding and basically that's the power supply it gets hold it gets held by this bracket here so that's actually pretty interesting we went with the corsair sf 750 sff power supply sff meaning small form factor and the reason why I went to this is because I had no other choice. Basically, this case uh, requires us to have an SFF power supply. Um, I'm essentially just not allowed to get any other power supply <laughs> form factor. Like, I can't use the ATX form factor that does not fit in this case. I've never used um, this type of power supply, so... Also, there were cheaper power supplies. Like, there, were, there was one from Be Quiet, which I was actually wouldn't mind buying from that brand, but it wasn't modular. So I needed a modular SFF um, and an actual, you know, non sketchy brand. Wow, this is such a small power supply. The camera doesn't do it justice. This is, ti this is a tiny power supply. Like, let me... Yes, <laughs> yeah, it's that small. So I'm gonna try and find the screws for the power supply mountain bracket. I, you might be asking like, why not just use these ones here? Um, that's because those are not the right ones apparently. These are labeled HDD, so that means that everything in this package is for hard drives, so that's not it. 2,000 years later. It's been 16,000 years later, I'm still trying to find the power supply screws. So I looked inside this package, nope, we've got zip ties. And inside this package, we have another package. Let's see if these are screws. If these are not screws, I'm gonna... So for the motherboard, I am using an old motherboard actually. This is the motherboard that was in my game PC. Because I installed a new motherboard, I don't know if I did a video on that, but I installed a new motherboard recently on my game PC. And I'm now using the old motherboard, this is an ATX AM4 motherboard, so that's an AMD system. And we're going to be using my old one, because why not, you know, it's just sitting here. I'm basically just not going to use it anymore, so let's just make, you know, a lot of use for it. 
This is the Ryzen 3. I don't know if you guys can see it properly. The Ryzen, the AMD Ryzen 3 1200. This is a very old processor that I had in my build once again. And we're gonna be using that in this PC though because it's been sitting under my bed for like four years now. This is AM4 platform, but like first generation Ryzen CPUs. Here is CPU in all of its glory. It also comes with a low profile AMD stock cooler, which is gonna be more than enough for this. So that's also another reason why I'm using my old processor because it actually had a cooler. So I don't have to buy a cooler, I don't have to buy a processor, I don't have to buy RAM, I didn't have to buy the motherboard. The only thing I actually bought was the case, my drive, the power supply. I can smell my phone heating up and burning, so hopefully, hopefully we finish this video by that time. And then it happened. Oh! Okay, I am back. Thankfully, I did not die. And thankfully, the motherboard is safe. Okay, so I don't know how to remove these. Um, I don't have the right tools to do it. So I'm gonna have to bring something which could damage it, but we'll bring it anyways. Okay, we have brought the bad boy, so... Yes, 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 I know you are scared and you really don't want me to do this, but I have to unfortunately do it. But just for your, um, just for your viewer experience, I'm gonna have to just... Okay, so the camera seems to have malfunctioned there, but I have the, um, the mount point now is off. I don't know why the camera malfunctioned there. That was weird. But yeah, um, I'm going to find the right point to where I need to mount this because it's one of these that I need to mount. And yeah, that should pretty much be it. Now, this is the point where I spent hours and hours trying to screw this motherboard stand into the case, but I just couldn't screw it in. And then the one time that I was so close to screwing it in, it fell right back out. And then I realized something. Oh my gosh, I thought I already had it in. Oh my God, guys. I screwed it in the wrong way around. That's why it wasn't going in. I'm gonna fucking sh- Things were going smooth until this happens. Okay, so the motherboard cable does not fit. Well, not fit, but it doesn't reach. <laughs> I don't know why the game is such a short one. Um, well, I'm not like reading any documentation on this or. <laughs> so with the help of the documentation, I was able to get the motherboard power cable in. Again, it was going so well until I forgot something. Ah! This meant that I had to remove the whole motherboard all over again. After the IO shield was in and after I screwed in the motherboard, I thought it would be time to see how the graphics card would fit. And then I discovered it doesn't fit. So I just brought a new one. This is one of the worst GPUs ever. So I need to remove this PCI plate here to replace it for a low, um, for a smaller one, right? This is a low profile PCIe plate, right? Um, so there's one screw here. I took out the screw as you can see 
but there's another screw and it's all the way on the side and it's covering um, it's covered by the plastic cover here and I cannot unscrew this because my screwdriver not able to reach so essentially I have to void the warranty to replace this plate because I have to take the cooler out which means that the firm paste going to be out which means that I avoid the warranty and no I was not joking check out these Amazon reviews okay I beat the system so I took a flat screwdriver and I was able to like get it in I did it I really did not want to use this because I know if you use a flat screwdriver it can strip the screws which means you can't reuse them later I don't think it stripped it, but I was able to get the PCIe out. But I spoke too soon. I thought that I was safe. There's another screw I need to remove. But here's the issue. I don't have the screwdriver for this type of screw. But I think you already know the premise of this video. Nothing stops me. And that was it, the last component. Okay, so we're actually gonna plug it in now. So I'm gonna plug in the power supply and then I'm gonna plug in a HDMI cable that goes from this to this monitor over here because this is the only one that I can easily reach for HDMI cable. But I need to get into the HDMI cable first. We have the HDMI cable. Okay, we have everything ready and connected. I'm gonna turn on Be into bias now since I don't have a hard drive um, connected to this thing so so there we go there we go so we have this server running the graphics are working the Intel Arc GPU is spinning the Ryzen 3 CPU is working and my keyboard is also working so this is the build basically done and I think it I didn't know this has an LED I mean I did know that um, I did have a suspicion that I had an LED, but I never saw a picture online that was actually lighting up, so I was like, you know, really confused by that. But 